hello 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 beautiful soul so today's video is a little bit different today is all about light language so what you have probably noticed is there is an increase of light language that has come onto my platform and it feels so good it feels so 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 good so what i did was i wrote down some questions to really help you understand light language a little bit better so today we're going to talk about what is light language what are light codes what do light codes do in your body as well as how does light language light codes affect your growth your evolution so i'm going to leave this open just to make sure that i do not forget any questions because your girl likes to get sidetracked so take a deep breath in with me and we're just going to ground into what light language is on a soul and human level so when it comes to light language, light language is here to help us evolve and grow and expand. Light language is here, just like manifestation, to help us become the higher level creators that we were always meant to be in multiple lifetimes. Light language has been on this planet since the beginning. Light language does run through language as well like english spanish korean vietnamese like tagalog like it light language runs through all languages but now light language is coming out as a more predominant herd expansion predominant herd language that you can actually use for healing and growth so when we look at light language compared to say the english language we have tones within the English language that when they are hit at certain octaves in music, it codes us and it awakens us. But obviously, people aren't singing all day long. And that's why music really was formed to help us grow and evolve. But obviously, there is music that is very light. And there's also music that is not of the highest capacity. So depending on what type of music we listen to, those are the codes that we're receiving. We're not gonna get too off track. So we're gonna go back to what is light language. So light language is, once again, it's the original language that was spoken on Earth, and it's spoken in many other galaxies as well. As you know, we call this being a star seed. And it goes beyond the stars, it goes beyond the stars. So. When we look at light language on the human level, and we're going to get into light codes here. When we look at light language and light codes, light codes are here to activate and expand our DNA. Every single beautiful human has DNA running through our bodies. But the bodies that we have incarnated into, the earth that we live in, our bodies are not as expansive as the original bodies, the original creators that were on the earthly plane. So when light codes and light language comes into your being, into your body, it helps you come back to the original DNA, the original massive expansive DNA where within our DNA right now, our DNA is very dark. Our, v our DNA is very dark and limiting. When you get into a healing modality like light language, it brings pure light. So what you have probably noticed is maybe you're having a not so great day and you're really playing into that darker dormant DNA that you have and then you get hit with light language and you're like, oh my God, it feels so good. And that's because those light codes are coming into your DNA in your body and your body is responding to the light codes and your body is feeling more expansive, more illuminated. So you feel that within your being. So when we allow ourselves to digest light codes more regularly, you'll notice that you're going to start, your mood is going to shift, your body is going to shift, the vibration of your body is going to shift, your thought process is going to shift. There are many other things that will shift and even just your overall reality. Because when we have more light within our DNA, we are more illuminated our mind is more illuminated and it actually allows us to see the higher level opportunities. So for some of you that have worked with me in containers, 
you have experienced the illumination of your DNA and your coding and you start to see things at a higher capacity. You start to feel at a higher capacity. You start to bring in more confidence. You start to experience more abundance and more business and more clients. And depending on what you have um, connected with me in what container, it could have just been a healing container as well, where you start to feel more confident and more expansive. and, And even you have allowed more light to come into your inner child, which helps you live out your your day-to-day, even at a higher capacity. So when we come back to light codes, and, and my team's really trying to keep me on point because we all know I like to tangent. So when we come back to light codes, light codes are very, how can we say, light codes are everywhere. So there's light codes in water. There's obviously light codes coming from the sun. There's light codes in the trees. There are light codes in the flowers. Light codes are everywhere. But depending on what we're doing them, we're doing with them and how we're receiving them, they either help us expand or we can pick them up, but they don't activate. So we're going to talk about that. When it comes to our auric field, we walk through light codes every single day. And there are always new light codes coming into this earth. But if we are not actively healing or having those light codes activated, then they're not entering our DNA. They're just staying on the outside of us. Our auric fields can get so clogged with light codes that it can get to a point where it's not as beneficial for us and we start to feel a little foggy. So when it comes back to activating your light codes, you can do this through EFT tapping. You can do this through um, quantum healing. I'm like, what are one of the things? Quantum healing, light language, journaling, manifestation. Um, because the thing is, with light codes, we need to bring more expansive energy around us. And that helps the light codes come into our being. When we work with light language and a light language facilitator, I naturally have the gift to activate those light codes like that. So if you have, say you have a thousand light codes within your auric field and you're manifesting, maybe you're only bringing in 20 that day. When you work with a light language facilitator that is at a higher capacity, those thousand codes can come into you that day. And that is what creates quantum shifts because your vibration goes massive. And then all of a sudden you're like, wait, I just got this new job opportunity. There's clients coming in, there's money coming in, like what's going on. And that's just because you have accepted those new codes that the universe, God, source of all there is, has gifted to us. With me being a light language facilitator, I naturally receive codes before people receive them on this earth and I store them to give them to the people that I work with. There are codes that I give to the people that are within my community, but then I have a higher level coding that goes into the people that are my clients, that are here to expand, that are light language queens, that are here to grow, that are here to have more money. So I also have those codes to give to them. And you might ask, well, why don't you just give them to everyone? Because they're not for everyone. They're for people that are really ready to take the aligned action to receive these codes. So we're not just giving them to everyone because you have to be ready. And when I am working with someone, I prepare their body to receive these higher vibrational codes. If I just came in and walked you with these high vibrational codes uh, and you're not ready for them, then that would that could destroy your system. So that is why when I'm working with people, we gradually raise and raise and raise and raise and raise and raise and raise. raise so you can become a higher level light being. Same thing what I with I with what I did. As I became a light language facilitator, my team could only give me the light codes that I could ground into. And then As I became a higher level, higher level, higher level, I was able to start bringing in more light codes to hold on to as well as give to my community. So, light codes, light codes, light codes, light codes. Okay, let me see. How does light language affect your growth? Okay, so we're gonna do this in the same thing. How does light language, okay, what do light codes do in your body? We already went over that. So how does light language slash light codes affect your growth, your evolution. So for example, we're going to give you a very clear example. I talk a lot about money. If you are in a space where you are not 
really experiencing the money that you desire, then that is probably because your money codes, we have money codes, your light codes around money are probably very dormant or non-existent. Because when I say non-existent, it could be so much that you decided not necessarily pushing your light codes out, but it's like they have just been so destroyed by all the distress that you have gone through that they're not, they can't even light up anymore. It's like dust, like just like a, you know? So if you are like that in this moment and I come in, we're going to clear all that out and then we're going to bring in new, beautiful abundance codes, money codes, wealth codes, all the codes to help you raise your vibration once again to money and then receiving at a higher capacity. So when we look at light codes and growth, if you are, if your your codes are really dormant and dark and dim, you're not going to be like, oh, I want to go heal. You're going to be like, no, my life is horrible. I'm a victim, yada, yada, yada. And I say this so openly because I was in victim mentality. So yeah, I say it so openly. And those were my codes. My codes were dark. I felt like everything was happening to me because of everyone else but not really understanding that i was the creator and i was choosing to be in these scenarios so when i started receiving light language my mind started to grow and expand and i started to see that i could actually have more so then i actually started to call in more so the benefits of having regular light language coming into your day-to-day -day, literally every day or every other day or just during the week you are going to live at a higher capacity you are going to grow and expand at a higher capacity you're going to see life like you have never seen life before and I have seen this through my eyes. I have seen this through other people's eyes. I have seen this through my clients' eyes. And it is phenomenal. Light language is mind-blowing if you really allow yourself to digest into it and allow yourself to receive it at a higher capacity. Take a deep breath in here. <sighs> oh, I'm going to take a sip of water because... We need the water. So before I end this video, what I really want you to understand about light language is it's safe. It's completely safe. It's just allowing your DNA to expand, grow, heal, evolve. So you can come into a higher level human, a higher level expansive soul to remember light codes are remembrance light codes are like oh we are powerful because we get away from our power and light codes bring us back to our divinity so if you want to play in multiple light codes i have my light language healing library and there's like over 30 activations in there and there's just more coming in um and that is 22 dollars a month and you can cancel whenever you want to but that will truly support you at a very very high capacity and if it's something that you really want to work on as in money my instant money recode is packed with light language and if you feel like your money coding is so dormant we awaken the heck out of that so those are two beautiful ways that i can help you with light language and and beyond that, I have my one hour quantum healing sessions, which is just dedicated to what type of night light codes you need within your being to grow, evolve, expand, and heal. So if you have questions about light language, drop them below and I'll make another video to answer those as well. But I hope that this will help you really digest into how powerful light language is and understanding it. Because I feel like when you understand something more, you can ground into it and receive it and not receive it like, <gasps> what is this? It's like, oh, give it to me. So that's why I want you to be. And that's why I want, why I wanted to make this video. So thank you for hanging out. Mwah!